Hi, I'm off on an adventure today. I hope you can hear me in my mask. I asked on Instagram what videos you guys want to see and you asked for a snack challenge yep. with Jess. So I have found a Thai supermarket in London. It's called Thai Smile. Let me show you. So we're about to head inside and see what vegetarian snacks we can find. We're going to buy as many as we can and we're going to try them all on camera. It's been a few weeks, a few months. For what? Since we bought all this stuff. Oh yes. It's been a while, but we're back. And we are about to taste test, like, a whole bag. We've got all our drinks on the floor next to us because they've been in the fridge. This is all just yeah, Thai stuff. snacks. And we picked up everything that we think is vegetarian, right? I mean, um, yeah, we, I think so. we did try and look, but obviously, like, not everything's in English. And also, I apologise if not everything is Thai, because mm. we were trying to be really good and just pick out stuff that said made in Thailand. But like with our local Chinese supermarket that we go to, they have a Korean section, a Thai section, like a Japanese section. Like they have, they sell everything. And I found that with this Thai supermarket that I went to. They also had Chinese and Korean mm. stuff, so it's all just Asian food. So I don't know if it's all Thai, and also I don't know mm. if it's like a hundred percent vegetarian. But I mean, we'll find ignorance out. Ignorance is bliss, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, let's get stuck in. You pick the first thing that you want to try. Well, I'll just pick anything really. Well, this one's nearest. So I wish I bought scissors because I bet a lot of this hard to open. Oh, I think we do need scissors. Oh, I'm really excited for these. Okay, sweet corn pops, like. Sweet corn crisps. I love sweet corn. Baked, not fried. There we go. So let's play. Let's play. What can I open it, that is? Ooh, that was a bit of a pop, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so take your pick. Oh, they're so cute. They're, they look they actually like, look like little individual sweet corns. Oh, this thing is not going to focus very well. There. Yeah, they're a little bit like <laughs> that. I just showed you my mouth. <laughs> We're supposed to go together. That's actually. So like that is so nice it's very sweet corny it tastes more like sweet corn than real sweet corn yeah they, they've like enhanced the sweet corn flavor <laughs> that's what i mean yeah it's funny but it's so nice that's quite nice fluffy it's hard to tell it's like a what's it but it doesn't taste oh, like a what's a it but non-cheesy what's it yeah it's like a non-cheesy what's it that's and then like cheeto the knobbly bits on the yeah. end yeah yeah, it's nice. Mm, I like that. It's so nice. I was really looking forward to this one as well. These ones. Oh, okay. I already love these. This is something that we've tried before. Yeah. That's what market. they call pea snacks. I don't know if it's the writing, but yeah. What's the brand? Oh, is this Japanese? Well, yeah, the writing, <laughs> the writing isn't isn't Thai writing, so yeah, it's definitely not Thai. No, I think this is Japanese. Yeah. So, well, that's just great. Well, we'll try it anyway. Let's try it. Anyway. Try it. <laughs> I love these. They're so nice. Such a great alternative. Yeah, I do like these. These are... This is what they look like. They look like sugar snap peas, or this one's a bit kind of. That's what they look like if I hold it in front of my face. That's what they look like, so that's probably a better picture there. Mm. So let's try it. You can actually show a load of these in your mouth straight away, I think. Mmm. Mmm. I've had like these for years. Mm. So good. I they can't. do taste very pea y. You can generally eat the whole pack of this mm. in one sitting, because that's how nice they are. Thai either, they're Japanese. It says Oishi. All right. If I'm right, anyway. So basically, the first two items we tried are not Thai at all. <laughs> so this is going well. And just to let you know, I think are oh, these two. I think I prefer this one than that one. They're both nice, but I prefer this one food. has a More nicer taste, flavour. Yeah. But I do. Yeah. These, these are just so cute, and I. No, they're nice. Sweet corn but I think they're I'll, nice. The corn ones I probably won't buy again out of choice. It's just going really well. Okay. Like two things we like. Okay, let's let's actually look for a Thai one now. <laughs> Ooh, wafers. Okay. Oh, he knows Jazz about found wafers. these. Yeah, I found these, but I can't remember. Julie's. <laughs> do we think Julie is really a Thai brand? Julie's wafers, mm. peanut butter cream filled wafer mm. cubes. How exciting! And you know what? 
these are Malaysian. <laughs> they are made in Malaysia. I'm sorry, this so is just going to be a just, Yeah, so just to let you know, it wasn't actually a Thai supermarket dedicated to Thai food, as you can see. But they never are, because I guess they cater to but like it was what actually, people want. Yeah, that's right. So Asian the food they had, a lot. Of, I mean, obviously I had a lot of Thai food in there. So we didn't mean need to go there, because everything we bought, I'm pretty sure our local Chinese supermarket would have sold it all. That's it, well, there. Alright, that's better. There we go. Okay, let's try it. Oh, so they look like little miniature, yeah, wafers. So they're cubic, cubic. Well, I don't know if you can see the cubes. Yeah. Mmm. I like that. You can, oh, taste, the, you can taste the peanut butter in it. Normally, it's like a vanilla mm. flavor, isn't it? A normal wafer. Or oh something. wait. It's not overpowering. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm, I like it. Maybe because like, let me try another one. The ratio of wafer to peanut butter is off for me. Well, I mean, less, lacking peanut butter. Mm. That's why I probably like it, because you love peanut butter, as in. Peanut butter is the love of my life. I'm sorry. Mm. But it is. I actually quite like this. And there's too much wafer. These remind me of those. Are they called Pink Panther biscuits? Oh, yeah. That we used to get. Pink coloured blooming wafers. I'm mm. not sure they're called Pink Panther. I'm pretty sure they were. I don't know. The reason I probably like it because it's not overpowering with the peanut butter, but she obviously mm. prefers more peanut butter. So I guess it's, it's disappointing. I think it's alright. I'll have another one, third one. Just gonna pull the one that I definitely, I know 100% is definitely Thai. Is these snacks here? Are they? Which are the yeah, these Thailand's number one right. uh, nut <laughs> snacks, and they're called. Uh, she hates them, but I love them. They're called peanuts uh, nori wasabi, and when I mean wasabi nuts, they are actually powerful. They give you a kick. And I think I first tried them actually in Thailand, right? It must have been. Maybe, yeah. And that's why. And then literally, this is what they look like. I mean, I, I normally grab a few of them in my hand and. Put some, you gonna try some? You gotta try them as well. I really <laughs> the whole don't idea. like them. I really don't like I mean, they got a powerful kick to them. Yeah! I've got to take the smallest one! Chess! Oh. I really. Oh, I hate. I just hate. Oh. It gives you a brain freezer. <laughs> it makes your eyes water as well. Maybe I shouldn't have put too many in my mouth. But it's like a back of your throat or no, back of your head or something. It gives you a, like a kick or something. Uh, but yeah. I haven't tried it. Do I have to? Yeah, you're only having one, aren't you? Trying, but yeah, I think you should just have I the one on its own. But one. me being me, because I like the taste of it. You're actually crying. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you. they're not spicy or anything. It's just like the wasabi is kind of like, I mean. Radish, isn't it? Yeah. It's really good though. But I mean. It's oh, I mean, I can, I can munch on these like, like you don't know what. I mean, it's probably oh, one of my it's favorite. so horrible! Aren't they? Oh, Jess! It's not that you hate them or love them like Marmite, I think. I hate this you! <coughs> Trust me, these are nice. Oh, it's so gross! <laughs> Great, it's the first Thai thing we die. Try, try, what am I saying? First, yeah, first thing. The first thing. try thing we try, try. Now you've got your words mixed up. <laughs> I think this has got, got to a head as well. <laughs> um, you want some but chicken? can I just say, Oh, hold on. <coughs> and also they do them in different flavours, so you mm. get the barbecue one. I was just about to say that. They do like a chilli one, don't they? Yeah. And a barbecue one, I hate barbecue, but those are actually really nice. Like the nuts itself are really nice, but this is such a strong wasabi flavour. It's like having a teaspoon of wasabi, yeah. isn't it, per nut? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite powerful. I mean... And if you've ever had wasabi, you know that that's I mean, for trouble. Nuts you can get from, let's say, Marks and Spencer or that kind of stuff. Um, these are slightly different. The coating on top of these are is, is different. I mean, these are probably the ones that I prefer out of the one, every ones I've tried. How can you eat them? They're nice. Okay, come on, move on. Okay. Um, can we have a drink next, actually? Well, let's try a drink, because obviously we need to water, drinks, water it down. To... Which one should we go <sighs> for? Singer. All right, pick a beer then. I, I'm going to try a beer. To the it's Thai beer. Yeah. And Probably it's one beer. of their most famous. The original Thai beer, Bangkok, Thailand, premium lager. Yeah, I mean, yes. This is nice. I like this. Let's try it. I'm not really a fan. Like, I don't really drink beer. I say this, but I have certain beers, like light beers. And yes, yeah, this is nice. I mean, generally, I don't really drink beer, so I'm quite... We kind of tend to have... I'm really picky with what beers I do have. Can we open the other beers so we can compare them, actually? Because oh, yeah. we, we do actually drink Stinger and Chang. Chang's Chang. the other one that we yeah. bought. I don't know the difference. Like, I just drink it. This is Chang. Here we are. Thanks. And this one's pretty... I prefer the other one. Try it. 
between us, I mean, to me, both same to me, I think. Yeah. We're um, not like, I like the both. connoisseurs. I mean, I do like the, I mean, they weren't disgusting, so that's alright. Next one is, let's go for this one. Somewhat on the other end of the scale from mm. wasabi to chocolatey. This one looks like a KP um, thing, you know? Corn, no, not no KP nut things, you know, dipping. Choc nuts. Yeah, choc nuts. Choc yeah. dips. Choc that's dips. That's it, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it looks like those. It's called Meiji, the brand. Meiji or maybe? Can I just try it? <laughs> and it's called a Yan Yan. How cute is that? So there's two flavours. Oh, okay. We could try uh, this flavour as well, which is vanilla. <clears throat> oh, vanilla. That's, that's why I was a picked up. <laughs> so hazy. Okay, let's and let's vanilla. open both then. I'm gonna open this one. Ooh. So this is what they look like. Um, you got the one end is obviously full of breadsticks where it is, and the one's vanilla flavour, I think. Mine looks just like a chopped dip. <laughs> Slaggy. This is more generous than a choc dip though. So here we are. Cheers! <laughs> what are we cheersing for anyway? Here we are, so... Nice. Mm. I mean, these breadsticks are no different to the other ones. Mm. They're probably longer. And I think the chocolate here this is... This tastes like Nutella. Yeah, this one is... Uh, definitely. It's actually uh, the chocolate. It's definitely the Milky Bar chocolate. I think. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. I actually like both of them. Both are like, thumbs up for me. Mm. How much is vanilla in this though? Can you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I can't taste the vanilla in there. That's why I said it. It tastes like the uh, Milky Bar. Yeah, definitely. Mm, I prefer that one. I prefer that one. <laughs> this isn't Thai writing in the end. Made in Taiwan! Is there any country we've like, not included in this? These are... These are um, okay. Pie. These are pie cookies with mochi. Is it pronounced mochi? I mean, we eat it all the time in like... I'll be saying mochi. It's not mochi. Well, isn't it mocha? Okay, this is not high. Pie yeah. cookies, mixed pie cookies. There's like loads of different flavors. There's banana mochi, there's matcha, and there's chocolate. Okay, so there's three different flavors. They're like this. <laughs> Okay, choose one. I'm just gonna rub it any random one up. And this one's a blue coloured one, wherever that is. Yellow I see is banana. What's yours? Oh, it's chocolate. Chocolate, alright, yeah. So, so it's chocolate or matcha. I'll try this one. Right. In fact we could half half. You could try half of this one. Matcha. Literally miniature little cookies, so yeah. let's break it in half. Oh they're soft. I don't like double chocolate. It's actually soft, generally. yeah, so like it's got like a uh what you call it? Um, soft spongy feel to it, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Filling actually looks like glue. <laughs> it's very like, yeah, quite difficult to break apart. Well, you can rip it apart, yeah. It's got like a, it's not fresh. I mean, it's nice, that's it. I mean, it's mm. not like um, I mean, it's like long life food. Yeah, long life food. I mean, but also, it's the most artificial banana flavouring I've ever tasted in my life. Swap. I know I won't like this. I just don't like I mean, double I, I, chocolate. I can see anything. it can get sickly after I have two or three, I think. Mm. Yeah, I see what I mean with the banana one. Chocolate one's so much worse. <laughs> oh. This one's better, yeah. Banana one. I'm going to finish this. Do you want to finish it? <laughs> no, it's alright. I think it's already sickly for us already. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's nice. The first couple of bites are very nice, and then you think, okay, uh, let's, it's too much. This one? Oh, can we do some savoury, please? I'm savoury? Savoury. All right, let's see. What's savoury? What's this then? I'm not a big sweet tooth. You person. got another peanut butter. I can't tell. Same brand. Oh, I'm nothing. very excited about this. And again, it's Malaysian. Julie's. <laughs> Who is Julie? And why does she love peanut butter so much? <laughs> Look. Oh yeah. That's true. Julie, I love you, but let's hope these are better. This is called a peanut butter sandwich. It essentially looks like a Ritz biscuit filled with peanut butter, like in between two. So you get two in a pack from that one, right? Yeah, tiny. It was like 40p or something, I saw it by the till. Okay, oh, it does, yeah, it literally is two Ritz biscuits. Cheers. I thought that is Ooh, it's nice though. Yeah. It develops into a nice flavor. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Julie's a bit tight with her peanut butter. Like first with this. <laughs> oh, like she could try a bit harder, you know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think for me, I like it because it's not overpowering peanut butter, but you clearly want more peanut butter. That's why. I just, oh, I love peanut. This okay. This is nice, and 
and it has more peanut butter in than those wafer things. But I like the saltiness of the yeah. Ritz cracker or whatever it is. It just really, it works. It's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> it's very nice. Just buy a box of Ritz crackers. Oh my God, I want to do that. Yeah. Oh, really? Buy Ritz biscuits and put peanut. Oh my God. This is going to be Julie, amazing. Yeah, yes, Julie, she's stealing your idea. <laughs> no, I'm making that idea better because I use good quality peanut butter and the only thing slap is, it on. It's a shame they only get two though in a packet, which is like, mm. you know, you want a little bit more, I think, on that one if you're having a snack. I know. Cheesy O, that's so <laughs> funny. Put some welly into it. <laughs> yeah. This is how you do it. Oh, it's, it is tough, isn't it? Oh, blimey, here we are. That was a cracker. Here we are. Blimey, you can smell them. It, it, it actually just like smells like what sits, and but they don't look like what sits. They're just hooped. They're like hula hoops, they're like blown up. Yeah. No, but they've got the same texture as what sits, right? As in like this. Oh, cheese. They are very cheesy. Jesus. Oh, I, mean, oh, I just dropped it. Just five second rule, all right? Is it? I just dropped it for about five seconds, rolling around the carpet. It's like an eight second rule. So uh, let me try it with the carpet on it. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, they're not that cheesy. Let's have a look. You put. Do they taste sweet to you or is it me? Yeah. Mm. They've got cheesy nuts. They've actually got the what's its cheesy flavour. But they got sweet. No, they are sweet! Yeah, but why is that? <laughs> in a different way. All I want in my life is savoury food. Yeah, they're very sweet. The aftertaste is sweet. You, yeah, like the fifth thing you start off is with sugar. Is it? You but, can't taste the cheese, you can smell the cheese. That's why they've got cheesy O's, you know, you've got that, mm, yeah, a little bit cheesy and a little bit, oh, that's what we've done at the end. <laughs> They're sweet. Yeah, they are definitely sweet at the it's end. It's like a weird party happening in my mouth <laughs> and like everyone's confused. Okay, pokies. Pokies are amazing. We ate loads of these in Thailand. I've, yeah. I must admit, we didn't try the weird flavours like strawberry. Yeah. Why do I pick strawberry? I generally hate fruit flavoured things or like strawberry flavoured things are always disgusting. Whereas strawberry is like my favourite fruit. It's really weird. But we picked up the standard chocolate ones and the strawberry ones. Very generous with their portions. I mean like... You, you never wait for me, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. You can't go wrong with these. I mean, you cannot hate these. What was that face? Mmm. I'm not sure we've flavoured things. I'm not going to eat these. It's just too fake. Like, I don't think you can ever really replicate the taste of a strawberry. I mean, it's, there's nothing to really hate on these. It's got biscuit. It's got chocolate. It's great. That just tastes like it's been coated, coated in Netflix. What is wrong with me? Netflix? <laughs> that just looks like it's been coated How in Nesquik. How strong is this? Nesquik. It's only 5%. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hello Panda. It's a brand called Meiji, which I don't know if we established was Thai or... Oh, for God's sake! Product of Singapore. We literally <laughs> are working our way around Asia here. This flavour is biscuits with coconut flavoured filling and yours is... Cocoa biscuits with matcha green tea filling. They had so many flavours of these and I didn't want to pick just like the boring chocolate and biscuit flavour. I generally hate coconut. It depends on how mild it is and I'm not really a green tea person either. So this is hmm. interesting. <clears throat> Let's try it. They're kind of little panda heads, I think. Let me see it. So it's got a filling in them. So they're kind of 3D, but the inside has got the filling of the flavour. So this is... Actually, uh, coconut, yeah. Mmm. I actually like this one. Mine's the uh, matcha green tea. The weird thing is, I don't think it's actually got any actual coconut in it. Coconut powder. Oh, no. It's got a little bit of coconut powder in it, but I'm actually okay with it. I don't like it. The biscuit bit's fine. That's inoffensive. Oh! It's like, the, the to me, the inside of the biscuit tastes of, like, the tea leaves that are left in the bottom of your teapot. Okay, let me try yours then. It's very strong. You didn't try the coconut. I think the co well, coconut one was okay ish. It's horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't wait know. Wait till you digest. Like, wait. You'll get the whole tea leaves thing hit you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think let me try the coconut one. Yeah. I don't think I'll that's probably the worst one I've tried so far. Oh, all that. Mmm. Mm. Told you, cooking mm. was better. Mm. 
the texture of this biscuit is different. Like the inside of that one literally was like cold wet tea leaves. <laughs> this one's more like a jelly. Yeah. But not too jelly. It's a bit like squishy. I don't know. It's as inoffensive as coconut gets. Hmm. It's not like full on like bounty. Like that's no, it's definitely not. Ugh. It's not the coconut and the bounty you get. The texture I could of eat it. It's like a mild yeah. coconut. It's nice. I, I, I like coconut water. That's that's like coconut water, coconut It's fine. I would eat it. I wouldn't buy it again. Thai tea drink with basil seeds. You can actually see the basil seeds at the bottom. You can see it. I... I'm not really a big <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit over. tea drinker, but it's... I quite like cold like iced teas and tea flavoured drinks. Drink? No, it's horrible! <laughs> what do you mean, what is that? Is it meant to be a milkshake or something? What is it? <laughs> Tea? I don't know, but there's something about it. You must have just drank some basil seeds. It's a purple. Let's no. have a look. What is wrong with you? Let's see. I mean, it starts off like it's going to be really nice, and then... Well, let me, let me drink it first. It's like... Mmm, I see what you mean. It's sweet. Very sweet. But what's it? It's not got anything going for it, is it? This, like, thing hits yeah. You. Like, it's like really pongy and like, like a sewer. Ah, oh, <laughs> I just want to have another sip as well. I've got a weird taste to the uh, back of my throat because of that. It's... What could it be though? I'm not sure what it is, but it's a... Basil seeds, I don't think. I mean, it's so definitely much. not a drink called like, it's sickly. It's like they left an old soggy tea bag in there, right? Like a builder's Ooh. tea bag in there that's been left for years. And it's, that's what the taste is. That's what you could taste, isn't it? It's a little coated with sugar or something. Disgusting thing. Mango nectar um, drink. If you can see it, that is. I think I can. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. Chill and shake well for best flavour. Okay, flavor. yeah, let's do it. Oh, you do. You can shake like this. It's just. Like... Not a bartender dress. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You try it first. You try it. No, I think I better try it because if you don't like it, you start like doing the downside <laughs> to it. Let's try it. Hey! That still doesn't make me think I like it. That's actually not bad, you know. Because you tend to like a lot more things than I do. You can actually taste the mango in it. It's not like strong mango, like overpowering sweet. You know, as in like... <laughs> okay, you try it first. It's alright, isn't it? It's I nice. Like it. I mean, I don't like juice. So literally all I drink is hot drinks, mm. Diet Coke, or well, Coke Zero, Diet Coke, or water. I just don't like juice unless it's freshly squeezed juice. And because this isn't fizzy, and because it's more juice-like, it is just like juice, isn't it, really? I think that would've been nicer if it was fizzy. I can see a lot more people liking this. I'm just not a fan of juice. Yeah. These are Thai crispy rolls, and they're pandan flavor. Hopefully they're savory. Okay, so that's our... And like this is Big rolls. <laughs> they actually look like, um, what do you call it? Those um, fortune cookies, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. They look like the fortune cookies with these. Maybe they are. Probably. And people just put their own little printouts in them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the fortune cookies. We should have done it shit, and then we'll invite people around and then print off little notes and put them in here. Is it meant to have a flavour on it, though? Oh, there's the, the little flakes. That is the pandan. Mm, oh, so the pandan. So the pandan is the actual <laughs> engraved little things they got on them. But apart from that, it's basically fortune cookies, really. I think they're nicer than them, I think, in a way. A little bit sweeter, I reckon. They are a bit, actually. It's basically that, a, a fortune cookie, they're a little like bit sweeter. They're like gourmet fortune cookies. Yeah. Like, nicer versions. And they crumble a little bit more. But yeah, thumbs up with me on this one. Mm. The next thing, bit weird. But also, I think it's like a fresh product. And I think it was quite expensive. It's called Mango Sheet. Think mango, think Warapon. Warapon? What kind of mango you- I don't know, but that's what it says. Oh yeah. But it says just... product of Thailand on it. Yeah, so they look like cigars. No, isn't right. it that um, dried fruit you get? Yeah, it looks like dried. Yeah, so that's what they look like. Oh, uh, squidgy, squidgy. So they're squidgy. Alright, so they, they undo, they're not actually... Oh, around. right, so they fold out. Oh, 
It's like dried, it's like fruit, isn't it? Really, well, like dried fruit kind of thing. There you go. Mm. It's actually not bad. It's alright. I like it. Yeah. It's like sour. But see how. Salty, even like sweet, salty, sour. I've got a whole thing there in my mouth. I'm quite excited for these. Just because it's finally something savoury. Like, why? This always happens to me, doesn't it? We end up with loads of sweet stuff and I always hate mm. it. Pot noodles, but they're not called pot noodles. It's called Mama Cup. And it's a vegetable flavoured oriental style instant noodles. Are these even Thai? Like, for... <gasps> These are Thai! Okay, this is great. Good. Our last one is Thai. That's good. And then Jas spotted this. And we didn't... I think this is vegetarian, actually. I can't remember now. Yeah, it's sort of tough. Instant Cup. Spicy basil stir fried noodles. So that sounds nice. Oh yes, yeah, add dehydrated meat to this. So maybe it is vegetarian. If I like it, it's a cheap night in because you've got the food and you got the drink. <laughs> Just all we're doing this year is cheap nights in. <laughs> we're in lockdown. What else are we doing? Yeah, we're treating her out. See, <laughs> don't tell, don't tell anyone I don't treat her. <laughs> right, this is gonna be hot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still boiling. I just put the boiling water in. So it's it's so cold in here, which makes me very happy, though. Thank so that's what this is. It's quite... <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let's give it a go. I think it's going to be hot, so let's... Oh! Mmm! Oh. Was that like burning your tongue hot, like you're saying? Or was it... Nom, you... nom. No. Okay, let's try it. Obviously, she likes hers. I love noodles. Let me try I it. mean, there's nothing about this that says Thai to me, unless it hasn't been stirred very well. <laughs> Probably. It's actually less flavourful than a okay. pot noodle. I just had a, one bite, let me try another one. And I've hardly any vegetables in here either. They're just noodles. I mean, this is okay as a pot noodle. I mean, if let's say I run out of food and I can only have pot noodles, this is probably, you know. I mean, I love I'll noodles. I'll survive with it. Biased and you don't, but. I'm well, not the biggest pot noodle fan. I actually think pot noodles are more flavourful than this. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the pot noodles usually taste like this. I'm sure if I remember correctly, they were tastier. They had more flavour. Yeah. Is it edible? Yeah, they are. They're fine. I mean, I, I, I just love plain noodles. Wash them down with this. My yeah. noodles are getting cold. <laughs> okay, Gone. we're going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you have any final words to say? Well, my final words are that I'm going to finish off these noodles after this uh, video. And I'm definitely going to eat the, the wasabi peas because they're my noodles. Oh, they were so so disgusting. Absolutely vile. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.